lifting family, welcome back. So I actually picked up another RC item. I actually picked up this 9604E. This is by DEERC on Amazon. So I actually picked this one up because I had a car that was a little bit smaller than this one several years ago. But in playing with that car, it, it, that one actually fit into the palm of my hand. And when I was playing with it, my son was chasing it around. So I was, I was having fun watching him chase it back and forth. And then he ended up stepping on it, which was kind of inevitable. So it was one of those things where... He felt really bad about it and I just kind of forgot about getting around to it. And now that I'm kind of a little bit back into an RC phase, I, I picked one up that I didn't realize was going to be this size. Now, I still am very interested to see how fast it goes. I just really like that the micro car was, was small, but it also just it went super fast. So this one, it, it looks like you, you have a total of 60 minutes as far as runtime. We'll see about that. The booklet did come, but at the same time, the instructions, they there was no English instruction, so which is not bad, but I just, I unfortunately am not fluent in other languages to be able to say exactly what, what those instructions are as far as how to go about proper charge time. It looks like 90 minutes. I'm not exactly sure there. I do know that there's a there's a battery warning that kind of lists off all the things as far as what you're not supposed to do with the battery itself, making sure that you don't overcharge it, and then making sure that also you don't plug into the wall. So I've actually got it plugged in right now on my laptop, and then I'm going to charge both batteries, and I'm going to try to see how much runtime we have just because I think that that's something that's very, very interesting and can, can have a, a lot of reflection as far as you know how much fun you can have before the battery t tends to wear out. I think that when it comes to like the the little Simon helicopters, those are something that they last about six to eight minutes, and then all of a sudden they fall off. So sixty minutes of runtime would be really cool, and then just to see what this thing can do. I found a way to try to do a speed test. Now my phone is an iPhone 7, so I'm not really sure exactly how much weight that's gonna take away or add to the car and then take away from the speed. But it's the only real means that I have of being able to actually do like a speed test. So I've got it actually downloaded here and I've got it strapped with a zip strip on my car. So we'll see how fast that goes. It looks like this one, we're just shy of seven miles per hour. So not the greatest performance overall from a vehicle that's supposed to go over 12. But I'm gonna to try to do the calculation between what the added weight of my phone had as far as an effect on the actual max speed of the, of the car. All right, so I tried a couple different ways of testing out the speed. So I had actually attached my iPhone to the car, which added a decent bit of weight and threw the speed way off. So I ended up being somewhere around like seven miles per hour. And then I tried a radar gun style, which I didn't get video of just because I was I was kind of trying to see exactly what I could get in terms of a decent measure of, of speed. And so with that one, it actually looked like it tracked somewhere at just at 11 miles per hour. So it gets pretty close to the max speed, but given the fact that it says 20 plus kilometers per hour, I'm going to be a little bit more tough on this one. So I'm actually going to rate this one as as more of a three out of five. I think that with that, coupled with the fact that it does get a little bit glitchy, especially as you get somewhere in like the 40 foot range away, then it ends up, and that's not that's not all that far for, for an RC car. So with that, it ends up starting to lose actually where it'll lose the ability to then steer left and right. And it's just one of those things where that can become problematic, not that you're gonna be trying to drive this next to a car and it ends up getting crushed, but just if it if you're driving next to some sort of an object that's problematic, that could be something where the car ends up getting lost or damaged. So that's really the big down factor here in terms of that one. So three out of five, I think that that's fair. It's not a bad price. So I mean, I think it's a really good kid's toy, but as far as something like I was, I was hoping that it would just, it would seem faster. So the little RC car that I had before actually just, it looked like it moved really fast. So I'm going to try to find that one and see if I can actually get that one and pick it up and, and then record that one just to show exactly how fast that was. But like this video, if you end up liking these, these RC reviews, I'm actually liking these. I was a huge RC fan as a kid. This is something that I just, I love taking them apart. I, I love the styles of them. I just, I loved that, just that feel. There's something about that. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's super exciting. Like this video if you like videos like this. Comment down below if you're an RC fan like myself. 
do also remember to click that subscribe button. Subscribers have been going up and with this slight change in direction, slight addition to the channel, I'm really hoping that that's something that helps out with the channel just to kind of offer a little bit more of a broad spectrum, especially since I'm a dad. That's kind of what, you know, as far as part of this channel, that's been what this channel has been about is, is focusing on, on fitness and lifting and it hasn't quite been family fitness. It's kind of been a lot of just me a, as a dad. So, I mean, do remember to click that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you subscribers out there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep pushing.